obviously by the art where today I'm gonna not feel too original and play a deck that I've technically played on a previous stream but uh I only played it once so maybe just maybe you find it interesting if you didn't catch it the first time around or you know unlike playing a thousand different paladin variants it's kind of nice just to play something new it's a mech warrior that I built this one is based off of Hearthpone because I'm not really good with warrior builds. See, the reason I like to build my own shaman and build my own, um, what was it, paladins, because they're pretty straightforward with what you could do. I mean, there's some out of the box ideas here and there, but all in all, it's kind of, you kind of know what you're going to get. You, know, you got your standard paladin buffs and whatnot. But with things like Warrior, you got interesting mechanics like damaging your own dudes and using weapons and armor and all that stuff. It's it's not so straightforward. It's funny. I just kind of, I just realized that the two classes I built for myself are both uh, token hero power classes. So I don't know. Maybe just that overall interaction is much easier for me. I'll never know unless I pay attention more, which eh, I probably won't. My voice feels like it sounds a bit wonky. It's probably probably the same to you guys as it always has been. But that's just me. I'm just gonna start off with a flame imp. Well, we can take care of that. With a fiery war axe. We'll go ahead and plop that out. It's kinda funny, there are uh when it comes to this game, it seems like certain cards are almost guaranteed in an opening hand for a class like uh, Warlocks usually get Flame Imp. Warriors usually get Axe. Like all your early game drops, they just come out the most. So, that's just a... Uh, that's just a thing I noticed. I don't know if it's accurate or not. Now we're gonna plop down your old Mech Warper. Because next turn, we're gonna get to throw out... We could do Spire Tank and Cogmaster if we really wanted to. Well met. I have a feeling we're going to want to do a Noitron, though. Oh, yeah, we can just get that off. I don't know why you put that out there unless you're baiting me out. That's just kind of silly in general. Um, so we do Cogmaster. Yeah, let's do Cogmaster Spire Tank. We can be a bit more aggressive since... Uh, and nothing out on the field, and if he's going to use a spell, he's going to use it whether I have a taunt out or not. Oh, um, yeah. Playing against Wishbone 561. Both are rank 20. I'm going to use Hellfire. Mm, it's not very nice. But, I still have a mech. That means I can use my Gorilla Bot. Really nice. Iron Juggernaut. Oh, definitely got to pull that one. I don't even have that in my deck gonna be amazing. I love this card. 10 damage. That's so crazy. <clears throat> Sorry if you keep hearing like a my mic unmuting. I had to uh, cough a couple times here. Uh, let's see. Can get rid of that. Void collar is kind of annoying. Tell you what, we're gonna make him do the dirty work. Do I want to do a Noitron? Uh, see if I, d I could do a Noitron, Warbot, Fiery War Axe. That's a lot to burn out on one play. I don't know what he's going to get, so I kind of want to be extra aggressive. Now we're just going to go face. I think this is a face style deck. I mean, we got him down to 10. That's pretty insane as it is. That's another thing with Paladins, I'm used to doing control, but um, I'm not sure if this deck's meant to be an aggressive deck or not. Or I'm in a hyper-aggressive, like I can clear off some things. I should have figured he's going to do a power overwhelming. I wonder what it's going to bring out. Okay, it's just a Dreadsteed, which do not underestimate them. Those, are, those things can be pretty brutal. 
Uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead, we could play out the Juggernaut. Sooner rather than later, that'd be a good idea. Um, trying to think here. Technically speaking, what I could do is Anoyatron. Yeah, this is probably the best idea. Mech Warper, Fiery War Axe. Mech Loot, we can also Warbot now. We got everything on the field, so if he has another Hellfire, we're kind of screwed. But it's just the chance we're going to take. He's going to life tap, so he's got something. He might have another, another Hellfire. Getting down to nothing, though. He's, that, he could be scrambling for cards, too. He might not have any answers. I mean, all he has is a Dread Steed on the field. And I don't know what he's playing. Implosion? Yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot going on. I think that's really all he's going to be able to do this turn. Yep. I mean, it's one of those things where being at rank 20, like, you might face some people that are just starting out with a really good decks, or you might be facing people that are kind of like me and build really crappy decks and just kind of see where you can go. It just seems to me lately that any rank might as well be a legend. The only real difference now is what you're going to tend to face higher on up. Man, my throat really has a whole lot it wants to cough out today. But, um... I'm willing to bet Secret Paladin's still a thing. So, I don't know. Alright, um... Let's see. What do I keep here? Probably Anoyatron. I don't keep Mortal Strike. Do I keep the Gorilla Butt? Probably not. Not this early. I'm like, and I'm already playing defensively by keeping Anoyatron. Problem is here. I uh, did a rather brisk workout. Nothing very lengthy, but it was kind of like a short burst one. And it's kind of, for whatever reason, bringing a lot of phlegm in my throat. And I'm coughing like a maniac. Even though you can't hear it, because luckily the Blue Yeti can mute. I don't know why other microphones don't have a mute by now. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, especially if they're USB mics. That's just a function I would want in any microphone. But I see a lot of the higher end ones don't even have that capability, and to me that just doesn't make any sense. Alright, so he's going to get rid of my Warbot. That's not a huge deal. As now, I'm going to be kind of ballsy and play out my drum with Cogmaster. Let's see what he does against that. Hopefully not a whole lot. Guy has the standard card back, which means he might not have a lot, or he's bluffing. I just assume everyone's like got a legendary deck at this point. People have opened enough cards, played long enough, even people will just spend as little money as possible and use gold most of the time like me can get decent things. You never underestimate, especially if someone's been playing the game for a while. And you can never tell, unless you're, you know, really high rank, which I never get up there. I could probably climb the ladder if I really wanted to. And if I spend more time in ranked than in casual. And if I wasn't always building, uh, if I wasn't always building bad decks. Oh, is, is he really going to enter rage execute it? He used both of those cards on a one drop. Oh, that's very unfortunate for him. Anything, I feel bad. All to stop, what, three damage? Come on, dude, you could have have done something against that. I'm surprised he didn't get rid of the Annoyatron that way. Actually, no, he wouldn't have been able to because of the, the shield. Oh well. But he could have done that too. I don't know. Alright, so now he's got something cooking up for me. That's perfectly fine. 
Uh, let's see. Probably uh, Dredder and just slam him in the face. Because why not? I wonder what he's got. I wonder if it's going to be a pretty similar matchup outside of mechs versus whatever he's got. Raging Morgan. It's nothing to sneeze at. But on the same note, nothing to not sneeze at. You can get rid of that too. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'll tell you what. Um, I should attack with both. I'm going to keep the Mech Warper in hand just for now. Just because. And what we'll do... We'll put a nice little stealth on that. Because you never know. I'd rather lose the uh, pilot and get a minion than lose a 4-4 and get nothing. You might have another execute in hand. Let's see. Mortal Strike. Eh. Unfortunately, I don't have any card draw, and I don't have any good cards. So if these minions don't stay on the field for, a for very long, then I'm not going to get very far. But he's down to 17 health, and I still have effectively 29. So, I guess I can't complain too much. Let's see. Um... Sorry, I was reading a text message. Oh, what do we get? Patient assassin. Nice, but the problem is... Oh. Well, that was weird. Okay, I'll take a win. I mean, if I would have patient assassinated, he would have gotten another one anyway. I guess he just had nothing in hand to follow up. So if I killed his stuff, it wouldn't have mattered. Alright, well, let's play another one. We're only 12 minutes in. So, uh, just give me a second while I respond to this text message. Alright, sorry about that. I usually don't like to have silence on the stream. Or even on a VOD, but uh, just had to do with plans of later today. Um, let's see, Warbot, Pollard. Let's keep the Warbot. Warbot's one of those cards where it's, you know, decent. The idea behind it, but I don't know. I just don't know. The 1 3. And whatever hits, it's going to turn probably to, uh, Oh, well, you know, most things are usually 2 threes, so it would bring it, it, bring it down to what, a 3 1? It would just be trading. I guess that's the idea of a 1 drop. It's not really to do a whole lot, it's not supposed to get far. But, um, yeah. Two mortal strikes in hand? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I should take one of those out. I've never really used it. But then again, that's probably for a late game finisher. It's, a. Uh, I never realized that I actually have the same stats as a fireball, but with a health requirement. It's kind of funny. Okay, I can get rid of an entire one of these now. Thank you. It's actually done me a favor. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot of clicking you're going to hear just because uh, I have to blow my nose too. Oh my god. Crazy day, guys. Crazy day. Let's get out the pilot. No need, no need to use a fiery war axe on that. <coughs> and I'm back. 
There we go. Okay, he's got a he's got a secret. We're gonna use that first. Probably armor. Yep. Most people don't tend to then vaporize, so if you see it kind of pop right away, it's gonna be that. Or if it doesn't, it's probably gonna be a newer entity. Uh, five mana. What can we do with five mana? Kind of thing. Let's go. Let's go aggressive. Actually, we could do hyper aggressive stuff by playing both of these. Now there's no point. There's no point. Really, the only thing we have to fear right now is a DC. I don't know if he's gonna run that. Seems like we're finally running into a lot of appropriately leveled people. So he's stalling out. It's fine for me. Um, definitely armor up. I kind of want to hold on to my minions for now. I don't want to get too minion heavy. Because if he, uh, yeah, he potentially has flame strike next turn, so I don't want to play that anymore. He has the coin. And I don't know, I don't know if he's used it yet. I honestly did not pay attention. But, uh, Sorry, <laughs> I told text message thing. When you're planning out your day, it's uh, hard to multitask. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I uh, guess I didn't keep that cough to myself. Oh well. Alright, so he's got a big gun. He's got a big axe. Anything you want to fight about it? Really hitting him in the face, and we'll just keep holding on to our stuff. The way I see it, a warrior is something you don't really want to just blow everything out there. Especially if you don't have a whole lot of card draw. Or at least want to try to keep a card advantage. Plus we have mortal strike, so if he gets me down, and if he's got nothing to get himself back, you know, by the time we uh, get to turn 8, that's 12 damage I can do total. He has me down. Okay, cult master. A raid leader. Now I'm gonna kill your cult master first, man. Ooh, a rampage, very nice. Go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna pick you all up. I don't want you getting card draw. Raid leader? Yeah, this is definitely a basic deck I'm like, wait a minute, there's a raid leader in here. Raid leader? Think about that for a moment. Different raid leader. Tinker Town will put out because I want the spare part. Could do Time Rewinder, but there's really no point. Let's see. Boss Nova. Is that going to end it? Um. Well Thank you. He actually just helped me. He misplayed. It's not a big deal. I misplay all the time. I'm glad I'm down here with the other misplayers. Now I feel right at home. I'm not gonna say thanks though. That'd be mean. I've had so many people do stuff like that to me. All right. So he kind of gave me the win. Actually, no, he didn't. He did not, cause I'm thinking. So it's only. Oh wait, no. No, he gave me the win. I could do that, and then, well, I guess these Mortal Strikes do have a purpose to be here. Look at that, they won me the game. They won me the game. Bonus star. Alright, got time for... I got time for one more game, do I? Maybe? Nah. Did I play three? Did I? I don't even know. This one's gonna be a bit of a shorter one. I I gotta go run to the store real quick. I gotta gotta do some things here. Did I? Oh, I didn't get that quest. I'll have to get it later today before I go to sleep. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Warriors definitely fun. I might have to work that into my regular rotation. I definitely have some fun ideas that I've never never really tried before. And the more warrior cards I get more I want to play. That's another thing is 
Paladin and Shaman seem to be very budget friendly. Unless you're playing Secret Paladin, which is gross. But, uh, yeah. Most Paladins and most other things are pretty budget friendly with their mechanics, so that's why I've been sticking to them. But I'm gonna try to branch out more. Maybe Warrior next, and who knows? Uh, ironically enough, Warrior, the, you know, dubbed the Wallet Warrior. But mech doesn't seem to be too bad, at least low tier. I'm sure against actual decks I could stomp, but. You could say the same against pretty much anything, so. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I was technically streaming today, but no one stuck around. I mean, it is Monday afternoon, so. With that, if you're watching this tonight, I hope you have a good night, and, uh, see you later.